So, here's a story time. My ex fiance messaged me yesterday, the one who did my original tattoo that is now covered up by this. Um, well, he kind of blew up my Facebook because um, I was at work, so like obviously I didn't answer or get because it went up in the message request folder. And I, it's not easy for me to like actually like check my Facebook or anything if I'm busy. Unless like I go to the bathroom. Or if I'm on a break. Like it's easy for me to check my phone phone but not like anything else. So I went on break. And like there's like a message request from his name. I was like, this has got to be some joke. Because like we've been talking like forever. So I open it, and there's like, how many words there? There's a lot of messages. Like, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. There's like six messages from him. And he was like, Hey, I hope this is the right profile. Please talk to me, hon. I miss you so very much. Amber, please talk to me. Amber, I'm begging you. And he sent me a picture. He was like, Amber. And he said something else. And then Amber, I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh my god, hey, hon. I was like, hi. He's like, I miss you. Uh, so I have some good news. And then I was like, same. He's like, I kind of miss him, but I kind of don't. And then I was like, my dad's talking. And then like we started talking. I was like, text me because my phone doesn't get internet at work too well and so we like were talking and whatever and like he kind of explained like why he did like what he did do I believe him no like do I well part of it yes because it's him like he's the only he's like oh I went to prison I was like yeah I kind of fucking believe that um but yeah like we're just talk like talking like there's no feelings um like, we don't, like, he sends a million messages and then I send, like, one back. So, it's not like I'm, like, actively texting him. I mean, it's just weird. It, like, he's to blame for, like, a lot. Like, the whole BDSM side of me, which is, like, a completely different video. Um, like, he's to blame for that. Oh, um, and he's the one for like a lot of things like why I have like he's part of the reason why I have trust issues um so this is me like it's not me trying to get back with him fuck that shit um cause um when we dated the first time he cheated on me with four other girls while we were dating um and then we were engaged um I was done. I was like, well, I'm still done, but not as long. And when we were engaged, he was engaged to somebody else at the same time. So, like, this is what, you know, I don't trust him whatsoever. Um, it's just me getting closure. Like, that's the, like, once I get my closure, like, I'm gonna drop him like a fucking hot potato. Like, that's the only reason why I'm talking to him is just so I can get some sort of closure. Um, there's one person that, like, I really want closure from, but I know that's never gonna happen, and that's Justin, um, no, as, as long as I get as much closure as I possibly can, <sighs> some exes and people that did me wrong, then I should, I know, I might be okay, but, you know, the person that I really want it from, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. So, and I'm kind of mad about that because, like, he's the one person that, like, why, that's why I can't do long-distance relationships. That's why, like, he's the main reason. Well, one of the main reasons. Like, him and the dude who raped me are, like, the main reasons why I can't trust anybody. And, well, Josh had part in it, too. My ex fiance, like, he had a part in it, too. But, like, those three are, like, the main reasons why I don't trust anybody anymore. Um... 
and it's fucked up a lot of relationships for me, um, it's fucked up a lot of things for me, but, you know, I can't change the path, but I can, <laughs> I can to change the future, so, as long as I get some closure, maybe, who knows, like, I know it'll be, like, a little bit more settling for me, and maybe I can, like, start trusting people more. The only time we talk. So, until next time. Bye, guys.